Kenya will not renege in her decision to repatriate refugees and close up Dadaab, the largest refugee camp, as by its tripartite agreement with Somalia and the UNHCR. But for now, the country may have to go slow on the exercise and allow for voluntary return until the prevailing drought situation in Somalia is over. The time for lasting solutions is now. A refugee camp was never meant to be a permanent home, nor is being a refugee a promise of losing your citizenship and your country. Over the past few years, as conditions in their, in their regions have improved gradually. However, the current drought and the looming famine pose yet another challenge to voluntarily to return. There is no time to lose. The response to drought must be immediately scaled up to avert famine and reduce its adverse consequences. Resolute action is needed to save lives and rebuild livelihoods. Majority of refugees have reportedly expressed willingness to return home. 60,000 of them have already voluntarily returned. For more than two decades, more than 400,000 Somalis have been hosted at the Dadaab refugee complex. And during this time, the camp has been operating on a fraction of the resources it requires. With the transition of power in Somalia, the country is now renewing hopes and efforts of rebuilding itself. It is at this point that Kenya finds herself in a catch-22 situation. While on the one hand, the repatriation efforts are on course, on the other, it is the prevailing drought that will continue to see an influx of refugees who are escaping that situation in Somalia. And so the question begs, will the sustainable efforts that are being sought for here at this summit hold? Jackie Maribe, Citizen Weekend at the Kenyatta International Convention Center, Nairobi.